CNN's Chrissy Lustart following developments live for us in Hong Kong. OK, there's a, there's a couple of key dates coming up, and one of them yep. is Thursday, to see whether or not uh, this real estate company can actually make payments on this debt. Yeah, well, Thursday is a key deadline. It's right around the corner. That is when an interest payment worth some $120 million is due. A lot of investors are waiting to see what is going to happen this day as concern is mounting for this heavily indebted Chinese property giant and the spillover risk it poses to the greater economy. You know, on Monday, we saw global markets skid with the S&P and the Nasdaq posting their worst performances since May. The Dow notching its worst performance since July. It prompted the White House to issue a statement saying, we are monitoring the markets, but Evergrande's business, they insist, are centered overwhelmingly inside China. Um, on Monday, we saw markets go into the red here across the Asia-Pacific region um, with uh, shares of the Hong Kong listed Evergrande down 10 percent, the Hang Seng down some 3.3 percent. You just showed that stock chart. We'll bring it up one more time again just to remind our viewers how they're performing right now. And we're seeing additional losses this day, not as bad as yesterday, but here in Hong Kong down almost half a percent. China Evergrande Group shares continue to lose value down 3.51 percent. Japan's Nikkei down almost 2 percent. I should note that the stock markets in South Korea and in mainland China are closed due to a public holiday. Now, Evergrande is China's most heavily indebted property developer. It owes somewhat $300 billion worth of liabilities. It's been struggling to pay it back. And that has prompted dozens of disgruntled and desperate investors to protest at its offices and headquarters in Shenzhen. And as we've been monitoring on social media across many other cities where Evergrande has offices all across China, last week, Evergrande warned that it may default. And of course, a default would just send shockwaves throughout the economy in China and elsewhere around the world. But when we speak to analysts here in Hong Kong and across greater China, they insist that China, that Beijing will step in to intervene. It may not be a bailout. It does not look likely they say it will be a bailout, but some sort of a workout to soften the blow. Take a listen to this. I still uh, anticipate uh, Beijing to, to step in, even though uh, without a, a direct intervention or, or a bailout, but at least they will engineer some sort of restructuring so that uh, it will look like more like a, a soft landing for uh, the Evergrande saga. You know, there's just too much at stake here. The last thing China needs right now is a major default, but so far, Chinese authorities have yet to provide any public assurances that there is a sort of plan to resolve the Evergrande debt issue. So as a result, that has spooked investors all around the world. Back to you, John. Christy, thank you. Christy, we start there live in Hong Kong.